tie, so for one of my songs, um, for accompaniment and stuff with voice, I am going to play Come Thou Font by The Ray Blessing. Um, I used it in like nursing homes and some hospices, and it's just a good song to kind of get into your spirituality if you are a Christian. Um, it just has a nice flow to it, a good melody, just a very calming song that's pretty cool. It's like a nice dance kind of flow to it as well. And I'll be doing this on guitar with arpeggiations. Come thou font of every blessing to my heart to sing thy grace. Streams of mercy never ceasing, call for songs of loudest praise. Teach me some melodious sonnet, sung by flaming tongues above. Praise the mount I'm fixed upon it, mount of thy unchanging I raise my Ebenezer, hither by thy help I come, and I hope by thy good pleasure safely to arrive at home. Jesus saw me when a stranger, wandering from the fold of God. He to rescue me from danger, interposed his precious blood. Oh, to grace, how great a debtor, daily I'm constrained to be. Let thy goodness, like a fetter, binding my wandering heart to thee. Prone to wonder, Lord, I feel it, prone to be the God I love. Here's my heart, oh Lord, and seal it, seal it for thy courts above. Come thou font of every blessing, to my heart to sing thy grace. Streams of mercy never ceasing, call for songs of loudest praise. Teach me some melodious sonnet, sung by flaming tons above. Praise the mount I'm fixed upon, it, mount of thy unchanging love. Hi, so for one of my other videos, I am going to do uh, Gene Autry's Springtime in the Rockies on piano with a nice kind of 3-4 pattern.
Thank you. So today I'm going to talk about what I envision music therapy being within a hospice setting. Um, so just in the future, I just really hope for music therapy to be a, like a standard, a primary a treatment option for hospice in the home or at a hospice house. Um, I don't want it to be considered medical in terms of when people think, you know, like a hospital or just anything medically based, you know, oh, I'll sit in a bed. Doctors and nurses will be telling me what to do, how to do it, you know, I'll get IVs, I'll get morphine, like whatever. I have no say in my choices. But for music therapy, I want it to be focused on the client's strengths, be strength-based. Clients can choose their own goals that they want. Um, the family can also come in and choose what goals they want through just like family cohesion as well as through the client's uh, quality of life at that time. Um, so some goals I want music therapy to work on and also that the client wants to work on. Um, it's just like spiritual grounding, just, you know, to make sure they're in a good place for when they move on, they have anything internal that they need resolved. 
Um, also just social interactions, whether it be with the family or friends. So, you know, the family can come together, they can make music, they can work on a CD for them to remember that loved one by. Just spend time with each other, you know, before the person um, goes on. And also, too, emotional expression. It's such a basic thing that people not in hospice take for granted every day, but people that are bedridden sitting in their house or in a hospice house watching TV all day, they don't get that chance to express themselves or just say how they feel to somebody. Um, so I remember like when my grandpa, when hospice came in um, into his home, you know, he just sat in bed all day, just in pain, you know, had no appetite. Um, you know, nurses came in, you know, just checked everything, checked his vitals and then left, you know, he had no chance to say what he wanted. He couldn't get up and do anything that he wanted anymore. So it's just hard. Um, you know, you get frustrated with yourself, you get frustrated at others and there's no way to cope with that. Well, music therapy, that's one of those goals I really would like to address is emotional expression, whether it's playing an instrument, um, having like a song discussion with the family, even like a lyric analysis of their favorite songs, um, improvisation of how they're feeling at the moment, whether it's positive or negative, and just validating them. You're saying, you're frustrated, we're here for you, you know, we'll empathize with you. Um, and also in music therapy, another thing I would like to see happen in the future is for it to be outside the client so let's say the client passes away you know the family should also get some music therapy as well you know they're um they're, they're really sad they're still breathing the loss of the person they're maybe not sure who to go to to handle it so with music therapy you know i want the family to also be treated so they can have like another grief support group um just talk about how they're feeling they could write a song about how they're feeling even a lyric analysis of their loved ones favorite song before they passed just any thing they can do to help process their emotions and just kind of you know see what they're going through and just know they're not alone other members of the family or friends are feeling similar things um so overall um i just really do hope that music therapy will be a standard practice within a hospice setting in the united states as well as all over the world i know it should just be one of those things people can go to at that really um just really dark time in their lives and at the end of it. Um, I also just want it to be a space for people to feel accepted, validated, and also understood because some other medical treatments don't offer that. And th this is one of the things I want people to go to to feel important, to feel like they have a say, and just, um, just feel like a person again, not just a patient or somebody on a chart. So that's about it. Thank you.